The man accused of killing a Cleveland couple after breaking into their car dealership gave condolences to their son today as the pair came face to face in day two of Joseph McAlphin's murder trial. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Russ Mitchell. And I'm Betsy Kling. Sarah has the night off. McAlpin is acting as his own attorney, and today's sentiments was not exactly warmly received. Channel 3's Amani Abraham has been following this trial and joins us live with the latest. Amani. It's definitely a unique trial in that defendant is representing himself with just state appointed advisors to help guide him. Now, today he had the chance to question the son who had discovered that his mom was shot and killed in their family's dealership during a break in. But before that cross examination, the man accused of killing the couple offered his condolences. For what is worth, my deepest condolences to your loss and I don't, I don't even know if that would be even enough. I just want to let you know that I have my condolences towards you. It was a message to the son of Trina Tomolo and Mike Kuznick, but it was received with no response as Joseph McAlpin represented himself in his own murder trial. Before that exchange, the son of the couple had testified about the night he had found his mom dead when his parents didn't come home for dinner on Good Friday. He made the 911 call after making the gruesome discovery. I looked behind the desk and I saw a body of what believed to be my mom laying there behind the desk. Um, at that point, I turned around and ran out. He took the witness stand saying it was something he couldn't bear to see, yelling for help, not realizing that his stepfather had also been killed. I really, I barely remember anything from after the actual event to maybe about a year after I I was living in a haze. During a short cross-examination, McAlpin questioned the time of the call that was made by the parent's daughter, the last to speak with them that night. Uh, Prosecutors showed body cam footage of when police arrived, showing a disturbed scene. This whole area here. Prosecutors later spent the afternoon showing enhanced surveillance video in what they say shows SUVs being moved around the dealership and people coming in and out of the building. That individual that walks across the street Cross pillar walks into the building, correct? That is correct. And for the next hour, no activity. Tomorrow, the trial is expected to continue with more surveillance video to show what happened after that one hour standstill. The trial is expected to last a couple of weeks, and if convicted, McAlpin could be facing the death penalty. In Cleveland, I'm Annie Abraham, Channel 3 News. More to come. All right, Amanda. Thank you.